Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right now, I'm going to be doing race 6 of 36 in the NASCAR Cup Series, the custom schedule, by the way. Going to be going to Martinsville Speedway today in Martinsville, Virginia, for the running of the Xfinity 500. So, Martinsville Speedway, it's a short track race, and it's going to be 125 laps. So, I hope you guys are enjoying your day, and I hope you guys are staying safe. And second of all, if you are new to the channel or you are not subscribed yet, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Turn that red button from red to gray, so that way you can keep up with any new content in that matter. So, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on post notifications, that way you won't have to miss a new video. You can be notified whenever I upload a new video or when I go live. So, make sure you do turn on post notifications. So, anyway, let's get out to this video. So, last race I did was at Bristol, and... Bristol was really, really good. I led most of the laps. Spun out maybe about once in that race, but I was able to get my second win of the season, so it's not too bad. So now we go on to Martinsville, and Martinsville is a little bit of a concern for me, so I'm, I don't know how this race is going to go, but we'll see what happens. Um, there's, the champ there's the championship mode. Say that's reminder what they look like. There they are on the screen. And... I'll show you what the standings look like. So as you can see, I'm right now 10 points behind a Denny Hamlin right now. So, so far so good in the point standings. But I'd love to hopefully get the points lead. But we'll see though. And then as you can see, Christopher Bell is right now in that playoff spot. Only by one point ahead of Brad Keselowski. So that gap is still pretty close. But we'll just see what happens. Alright, so Tonic Gracie on March 12th for the Xfinity 500. So let's get on to qualifying and see where we start. Gonna come off turn four to complete qualifying here in Martinsville, and it's gonna be a 20 03 and 14th. Yeah, I'll take 14th. I wish I could have done a little bit better, but 14th's alright. So I'll take it. Um, and it looks like Matt Kenseth's gonna be on the pole for this race. And it looks like I'm starting 13th, so someone's going to the back ahead of me. Uh, by the way, if I'm a little bit quiet, I do apologize about that because, you know, I'm filming this almost at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I got family downstairs sleeping, so I need to tone it down just a little bit. So if I'm a little bit quiet, I do apologize. So the Xfinity 500, race 6 of the season. Let's get this race underway. And let's see who's going to the back. Um, looks like it's going to be Daniel Suarez. Engine change after qualifying, and a Chris Busher found previous inspection. All right, here we go. Six race of the season here at Martinsville. And the Creek Bikes in here run away here at Martinsville. Drove the corner right there. Boy, I almost came right up into Kyle Bush right there. Uh, Matt Kemp is going to lead the first lap. There's 31 laps in stage one. So, by the way, this is what the new scheme looks like. I'm basically going to be ally scheme for this race, but in just different colors. Looks almost just like Jimmy Johnson's um, Daytona Road Course car from this year, but just a lot different. I got some purple on the car, of course. And I got some white and some black. And the number's also um, purple and white, so that's not too bad. I actually kind of like this car, to be honest with you. So I'll run this team for a couple of races. Oh man, am I stuck on that outside lane? Kyle Bush has got around me. Now Matt Benedetto's trying to get underneath me. Oh, Harvick. I don't know why he slowed up in front of me like that. Alright, we're three wide right now. Still got Matt to Benedetto to my inside. Technically stuck on the outside lane. Oh my goodness, why does Harvick keep slowing up? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm finally gonna get back down to the bottom lane. I like it. I'm liking that. Now I'm underneath Matt to Benedetto for ninth. Trying to get my way back up there. Got a little bit of damage, but that's Martinsville racing. Oh, I don't want to hit that apron. Let's not do that. All right, gonna come off turn four to complete five laps this on bike. Got 26 laps to go in stage one here in Martinsville. Still 
I gotta get to my breaking points a lot better. I keep running in the back of drivers. And I keep hitting the apron sheepers, man. I gotta stop making mistakes like this. I mean, I'm filming this almost close to 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. I mean, that's not my excuse, too. I'm just driving awful right now. I need to fix that throughout the entire race. Jimmy Johnson, I just ran right into him. Well, that's going to bring out a caution. Jimmy Johnson just spun out right in front of me, and I just had nowhere to go. I wasn't expecting that. I just got around Cliff Boyd, and all of a sudden, Jimmy Johnson has an issue or something. I think it, something might have broken that car, but Johnson going around, that's going to bring out a caution. Not going to pit, so I am going to stay out. Uh, Matt Kenseth still going to be the race leader. I'm going to restart fourth. Looks like Jimmy Johnson's gonna be out of this race. It looks like a mechanical failure for him. That's a tough break for Jimmy. All right, green flag back in the area. 14 laps to go in stage one. Didn't like the fact that I'm restarting on this outside lane right here. Oh, Blaney hit the brakes too much right there. Man, I got a lot of damage on this car. Like I said, it is Martinsville racing. You're going to run in the back of a couple drivers. To the inside, Ryan Blaney went up the track just a little bit, but I am going to make the pass on him. All right, so let's see if I can try to go chase out Matt Kenseth. They're coming 11 laps to go this time by in stage one. Oh, man, this car is wicked loose, too. This is something I was worried about in this race was the car getting too loose. Because this car has a history of doing that. Especially NASCAR Heat 4. So, trying to be careful of that. 10 laps to go here at Martinsville. I'm still running in the second spot. This car is just getting loose off the corners. I'm just trying to be extra cautious not to spin this car. I'm not pushing the car too much. I would love to get the stage win, but I'm just worried about not spinning this car out and falling out of the race early. I don't want that. So, I'm just hitting my marks fine so far. So far, I believe Matt Kenseth has led every lap in this race. Oh man, this car just wants to spin out so bad. I mean, the tires are only at like 69, 73, 80 in the 80, so I don't see how the car could be too loose. To be fair, too, I have this car in a set of five as well. Oh boy. Hang on, I saved it. Now I'm three wide right now. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, or we would make it for it. Okay. Looks like True can hammer back out, but unfortunately I am gonna lose the second spot. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose more because I'm stuck in the outside lane. Man. laps to go at stage one here in Martinsville and I'm still running in the third spot but this car is just really really loose I'm just trying to hang out at this point I'm not even worried about um, trying to gain position I'm just trying to worry about you know not spinning this car out because this car just wants to spin out so I've just been fighting with the throttle so far Matt Kenseth has still let every lap in this race but Mark Trick Jr. is gaining on him he's gonna take a peek to the inside uh oh okay I better um, start worried about me right now because I'm just about to spin out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, looks like Truex is going to take a peek to the inside for two laps to go on the stage. And looks like Martin Truex here will take the race lead. Not surprised to see Truex out front, especially that he won the spring race at Martinsville earlier this year. 
But will the lap traffic ruin it for him? I don't know. The final lap of stage one, still running in third right now. Uh, Mark Tricks, you're still the race leader. And like I said, I'm just trying to hang on at this point. I should be all right if I can get off turns three and four well. Oh yeah, I'll be all right. So Mark Trick, she was going to win stage one. I'm going to finish third in the stage. Definitely was a mess in this stage, especially with me getting loose a lot. But hopefully I can fix that in stage two, but we'll just see what happens. So Mark Trick, she wins the stage. Matt Kent's second. Me, third. Ryan Blady, Denny Hamlet, Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, and Brad Kislowski rounds up your top ten. So we got a pit. I'm going to loosen up this car, honestly, because... This car is just way too loose. Pump that up. Pump that up. Okay, we'll try that. And I'm going to fix the damage as well. Looks like I'm still going to restart third. Alright, so we're going to begin stage two this time by here in Martinsville. And we'll see what happens. Still there. laps to go in stage two I'm right now I'm running in third oh I'm on the apron I'm on the apron I'm fine I'm fine okay nice save but I did hold up some of the field right there and as I was about to say I did fall back to third because when I was on that cockpit view I lost a spot to Clint Boyer so that's really unfortunate car is handling a little bit better but I'm starting to feel a little bit tight so I think I made this car a little bit tight to be honest but I'm also starting to feel the effects of this car being too loose as well. So I'm on my toes about that too. But maybe the live traffic can come into play. We'll see though. I thought there was a challenge to the lead at first. I thought it was some point getting around Truex, but he's just getting around Brendan Gaughan. Still got Brad Kislowski right behind me. So far so good. I'd love to hopefully stay out of trouble. But I feel like I got good speed though, on the other hand. I just need to, you know, hit my marks a little bit better. Just not get loose as I almost ran right in the back of Brendan Gaughan. Because we are approaching that traffic. Uh oh, caution. I don't know what happened. It was either for Martin Tricks here or maybe Kyle Bush. I don't know. Um, looks like Ross Chastain's gonna get the free pass. Jimmy Johnson's the only driver out of this race in a mechanical issue early on in the race. This looks like either Truex or Kyle Busch has problems. But I am gonna stay out. Alright, so I'm gonna go back green. Clint Boyer's gonna be the race leader. 
And looks like we're gonna have uh, let's see, 13 laps to go when we when we get back in the TR right now. But why? Wow, did not get a good start. I mean, I did not shift properly, but did not get the start I wanted. Sorry, I feel like I can make that up. I'm trying to right now, so I'm underneath Brad Keselowski. About 12 laps to go in stage two. Look ahead for me. Clear outside. Oh man, I keep overdriving the corners. I've been doing a lot in this stage because, you know, I put the car way too tight. laps to go in stage two. I'm trying to chase down Clint Boyer. I got good long, I got good long run speed. It's just that I'm just messing up in the corners. Oh boy, I got loose right there. Man, I tell you what, this car. I mean, in this stage, I made it too tight, but. Now it just wants to spin out again, even though it's only at the 90s and the 80s, plus the 70s and 60s, so I don't see how this car could be that loose. I could have pitted with Kyle Busch and Martin Trick Jr., but I didn't want to lose all that track position. I wanted to stay out and get as much stage points as I can. Hopefully get a stage when to get playoff points, but I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. I would have to rely on lap traffic, but I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to them or not. Oh, no caution. All right, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we got a smoker up there. I can't tell who that is, but someone's smoking. Looks like he's blowing an engine. Looks like maybe Bubba Wallace, it looks like. I believe. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll pit. Let me see. Yeah, I'll pit. I'm not gonna worry about gas. I might just take right sides and just be back out in the way. And I am only gonna restart the. I am gonna restart the third spot. Kyle Busch and Mark you did pit under that um, last caution, so they're gonna be the race leaders. All right, gonna have a four-lap shootout to decide who wins the stage. Oh, I tried to go for the lead, but I messed up the One corner second. entry. I do get up to second. Now I gotta try to see if I can go get Kyle Bush. Hope we get the stage win. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Oh, come on, Robert. Please stop getting that apron. Man, I don't know why I keep doing that, but I need to stop doing that if I want a shot to win this race. I'm just having trouble getting around the leaders. I just can't get around them. Um, it doesn't matter who it is. I just can't get around them. Happened to Truex. Then it happened to Cliff Boyer. Now it's starting to happen to Kyle Busch. All right, so it's the final lap of stage two. I'm still right out running second. Kyle Busch is leading. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get, get around them. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Yeah, Kyle Butch has the stage one. Just can't do anything with the leaders right now. Hopefully I can do it in the last stage. But Kyle Bush is gonna come off turn four and he's gonna win stage two. I'm gonna finish second in stage two, so definitely a little bit better than stage one, but I'm still feeling a little bit loose off the corners and I'm just a little bit too tight as well. So Kyle Bush, me, Matt Kenseth, Tyler Reddick, William Byron, Clint Boyer. Mark Trick, Sheeran, Brad Kislowski, Kevin Harvick, and Ryan Blaney is your top 10. So I'm going to pit to get fresh tires. I'm going to fix the damage. We're going to have 58 laps to go when we get back green. I'm going to loosen up this thing just a little bit. Yeah, let's try that. 
All right, here we go, and I am going to restart 33rd. Looks like Kyle Bush and Martin Tricks are pitted as well. We're going green. All right, now I got to try to get up Ready. from the front. We'll see what I can do here. Outside Final stage on the way. Green flag back in the air. We got 50 laps to go. Oh, boy, it's been a little bit of trouble getting on these guys. Yeah, Truex is going to get to my inside. Oh, man. I mean, to be fair, too, we got fresher tires, and these guys are on a little bit of worn tires. I'm try the outside lane to see what I can do up here. I think Truex is having a hard time getting around these guys as well. Oh, Bubba. Matt Kenseth, the race leader. I don't, I don't know who he passed. But I've seen a lead change right there. I'm trying to get my way up towards the front. I'm getting around Eric Almarola. Oh, come on, Michael McDowell. You got to hit the gas, man. All right, 55 laps to go. I just fully send it on Ricky Stenhouse. I was able to make that work, though. Okay, now I'm starting to move forward. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. So hopefully I can keep this pace up and maybe get my way up, but um, get my way up towards the front. We'll see though. We still got a little bit of a ways ahead before we end this race. Yeah, we do need to make one more pit stop as well too. So, yeah. Careful, still there. Clear high. Fifty laps to go here, Martinsville. I'm right now trying to get around Ryan Newman to get to the 12th spot. So I have been moving my way up towards the front, which is a good thing. Um, I'm not sure how Truex and Kyle Busch is doing back there. I don't know if they're getting around the guys or not. Wow, is that Corey LaJoy in ninth place? What an awesome run for Corey LaJoy. Right now I'm having a hard time getting around these guys because, you know, you got Corey LaJoy up there. You know, he's having a good run. I'm going to try to use the outside lane to get around Christopher Bell, even though the outside lane is not the preferred line here at Martinsville. Um, Brad Kieslowski is the race leader, by the way. He got around Matt Kenza. He's not making a three wide to try to get up to the ninth spot. Oh, looks like Corey LaJoy up to eighth. I thought he was up to ninth. I got around Bowman. Now trying to get around to Benedetto. All right, up to eighth. I mean, up to ninth. Okay, now I'm up to eighth. I just got around Coil of Joy. All right, so pretty good so far. Like, so as long as I stay out of trouble, I feel like I might have a top five car. I don't know about a winning car. In order for me to win this race, I would have to lie on the lap traffic if I do happen to get up to second. But I can't overdrive the corners. So I got a little bit of a gap ahead of Kevin Harvick, so... I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit then. Oh, never mind. We got a caution. Man, I had a lot of cautions today too. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, doesn't say. Looks like Ross Chastain is out of this race. So he must have been the one that brought the last caution. Bobby Carter is going to get the free pass, but he's only going to go a lap down. Uh... You know what? I'm going to pit with the rest of the field. I'm not going to make any adjustments on the car. I feel like the car is handling fine. So I'm not going to do that. Looks like Mark Tricks here, Kyle Busch is staying out again. Looks like they're on a different strategy. I don't know what's going on with that one. Could be something interesting though. Maybe I could have stayed out. We'll see. Alright, free flight back in the air. We have um, 41 laps to go. So I should be able to make it back on fuel. I don't know about our tires. Oh man, so that means if we have a long free flag run, Truex and Kyle Busch is going to have to pit. And they're going to fall right into the back. I don't know if there's a wide decision for Truex and Bush to stay out or not. I'm Kyle Busch if you want to. So that could be a little bit of 
That could be questionable just a little bit right there. Oh man, tens of brake check right there. Wow, Kenzo dropped back up the spot. Kenzo was fast in this in the beginning of the race. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, I'm going to have to track just a little bit. Wow, I already played. We're on lap 87 already. This race flew by. Guess time flies by when you have fun. <laughs> this race just flew by. Man, I just ran right in the back of Kyle. I don't know why these guys keep brake checking on the outside lane. So annoying. Now I got arrowed just a little bit, but I should be fine because it is Martinsville. I just got around Ryan Blaney. Gonna fully send it on Matt Kensive. And looks like I'm gonna get up to seventh. Oh boy, I overjoked the point just a little bit. Alright, I'm fine now. All right, 36 laps to go here at Martinsville. So we're just gonna try to hang on for seven. And we'll see if we can try to gain some more spots. Hopefully get ourselves into the top five and gain a lot more spots. But I gotta try to get around Tyler Reddick first. Careful, still there. All clear. Stay to your left. Nobody out back. 30 laps to go here on Martin's Road. I'm right now running into the 30th um, in the fifth spot. Cheapers, 30th, Robert. Man, I'll tell you what, it is getting late where I'm filming right now. So after this race, I need to go to bed. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm filming this late at night and I am just getting tired. You know? But I'm running in the fifth spot, which isn't too bad. Um, we do have lap traffic. Oh, I overdrove the corner. Dang it, I could have capitalized on that because. The leaders are getting held up by lap traffic. But now I just blew that. And Brad Keselowski saw the race leader. He's getting held up by traffic and I just hit the wall. Let's please not do that. Oh man, I wish I, wish I was at the bottom lane. Okay, thank you, Quinn Hall. Underneath Clint Boyer for the fourth spot. I got Matt Spett dead on Truex up there as well. Oh man, I had to try to send it. Oh, caution. Something happened. But I had to try to send it so I could not get held up by Chad Fitcher. But caution now, something happened. I don't know what for. Um, Justin Haley is going to be on the free pass. He's going to get the lucky dog. Everyone's pitting again, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna repair some of the damage, do four tires. Um, let's see. We have 23 laps to go. So I think I only need a half a can to make it back. So we can only do that. And I fell back so many spots. I mean, I had to fix the damage. That's all right. I feel like I can still get up there. Though. Watch Shurex. Matter of fact, I think some guys. Oh, Kislowski saw up there, so I wonder what happened to Truex and myself then, because we both fell back spots. I did get a good start, though. Oh, let's please not mess up, please. I don't need to mess up now. Nobody out back. Inside. Oh, man, I left the bottom lane over for Cole Custer. Oh my goodness gracious, I just ran right to the back of Ryan Newman right there. I'm being a little bit aggressive. And man, that gave me a lot of front bumper damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm being a little bit too aggressive. I should calm down just a little bit. I mean, we are getting to the end of the race, but I should calm down just a teeny tiny tad. Oh, looks like Truex is going to get around me. I got a good run off the corner. All right, 20 laps to go here at Martinsville. I'm trying to get on Christopher Bell to get to the eighth spot. 
Whoa, okay, I don't know what happened there, but I just slid, slid right up at the Christopher Bell, and it almost turned me. I'm glad it didn't turn me. Otherwise, it could have been a lot worse. Oh, man, I was just crazy to hide. Just ran in the back of Ryan Newman like that. Luckily kept the car safe. I don't think he's going to be happy with me about that. All right, just got around Kevin Harvick. So I'm up to seventh right now. Love I can get some more spots. I feel like I get up to maybe six. Oh, I just full sent it. Okay, I'm going to get to the sixth spot. I just got around Byron. So I feel like I can get up to second. I think Truex is fast, though, behind me. So maybe I'll have to lie on lap traffic and hope the caution doesn't come out. Because I think if a caution comes out, I think my chances of winning is going to be over. But I do got a top five run. I know that. All right, to the inside of Tyler Reddick. This is for fourth. All right, so I am going to get to fourth. So up to the top five with 15 laps to go. We'll see if I can go chase down everyone else. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, dang it, there's a caution. Well, I think my chances of winning is over because I just haven't had the car to get the win. All right. Who brought it out? No, it doesn't say. Uh, Bobby Carter's going to get the free pass. Man, I felt confident at that time because of the lot traffic, but now with the caution coming out, I think that just blew my chances. Especially with me being on the outside lane, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, well, guys. I mean, I could get lucky, but we'll see. Come on, Matt. All right, green flag back in the air. We have eight laps to go. Oh man, this car is starting to get a little bit loose as well, too. Um, Brad Keselowski's the race leader, still. So. Looks like Ryan Blaney brought out that last caution. He's on pit road right now, so I think he's out of this race. I'm trying to get around Clint Boyer to get the third. Looks like I do get around Clint Boyer. Matt's Badetto up to second. Last season, NASCAR E4 Championship season, the Spring Martinsville race, Matt Badetto actually won this race, so he's trying to go back to back in the Spring Martinsville races. I'm also right there as well. I don't know I have a shot at it, but it'll be really close. We'll see, though. in the corner I just got around Matt's Benedetto oh man I think I blew the corner right here I can't be doing that though oh man I felt like I would have shot to get up to Brad Keselowski if I didn't blow the corner and try to send it in there on him just like I did Matt's Benedetto well three laps to go here at Martinsville and I think I just blew my chances the way of trying to get around Brad Keselowski yeah, it's just that every time I have a shot to get up to the leader, it's just, I just couldn't really do anything to get around them. That's been happening all race long. Oh, yeah, there goes my chance. I just got loose off the corner. Dang it. Well, yeah, there goes my chances, guys. I said I didn't really have the fastest car. But we'll just see if I can try to hang on for a second at this point. Definitely not going to be able to get up to Brad Keselowski now. All right, final lap here at Martinsville, and if nothing happens. Brad Keselowski has this race in the bag. I'm not even close enough to send it in on him. So this race is definitely over. Down the back straight for the final time. Max Bedell tried to get a run right there. I did put the block on him. 
So Black Kiss last he's gonna win here. Marksland, I'm gonna come home second. You know what? I'll take second. This race was kind of a little bit of a mess, to be honest with you, because of me getting loose off the corners so much and getting tight and overdriving the corners. But you know what? Second's okay with me. I wish it was a win, but top five, not too bad. I'll take it. All right, so race results here. Martinsville Speedway. Brad Keselowski is going to get the win here at Martinsville. So, Brad Keselowski wins. I finished second. I could have had a um, better finish, maybe had the win, but I just couldn't really do anything with the um, race leader. So, second it is. So, um, I finished second. Matt's bad. Dental third. Martin Church here fourth. He won stage two. Um, Christopher Bell fifth. Clint Fourier sixth. Tyler Reddick seventh. Kevin Harvick eighth. Um, William Byron ninth. And then Matt Kenza rounds up your top ten. Oh, no, I'm sorry. March Rex Jr. won stage one, so I'm sorry about that. Um, 11th on back, so Kyle Busch, 11, he won stage two. Um, Corey LaJoy, 15. Good run for Corey LaJoy. Wow, Joey Gay, 17. Okay. And Daniel Suarez rounds up your top 20, so interesting top 20 right there. So 21st on back, Michael McDowell, 21st, Eric Jones, 25th, and then Austin Dillon rounds up your top 30. And there's 31st on back, so Justin Haley, 31st. Uh, Quinn Hoff, 35th, only 34 cars finished on the lead lap. And then Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, and Jimmy Johnson rounds up your field. And it looks like I do take the points lead away, so that's not too bad. Even though I finished second and had a little bit of a struggle, but I still take the points lead. That's not too bad, actually. But we still have a long way ahead, so anything could still happen. So, so I finished second at Martinsville. I wish I could have had the win, but I couldn't really do anything with the leader. So, you know what? I'll take second place. That race was a little bit of a mess for me because I kept, you know, getting loose off the corners and getting a little bit tight every now and then. But you know what? I'll take second place. That's not too bad. So next race, guys, race seven of the season is going to happen at Glattimore Speedway at um, Hampton, Georgia for the running of the full Devon and Quick Trip 500. So at Glattimore Speedway, normally, which I'm not going to go up there right now, but normally... I have Atlanta as the championship race of the season, so this time we're going to Atlanta twice, so we get the feel of what will come for the championship race at um, Atlanta in the next video, so yeah, so next race going to be Atlanta for the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500, so if you are new to the channel if you are, or you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with any new content and any new NASCAR Heat 5 content. And also, turn on post notifications, that way you can be notified whenever I upload a new video or when I go live. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So, this is RJ, aka Robert, saying peace out, ladies and gentlemen.